Hey guys, my name is Alina Kennedy. I'm a physiotherapist and owner of The Runner's Physio. In this video, I wanna go through some exercises and simple movements you can do during pregnancy to help with lower back and pelvic pain. So all of these exercises are pregnancy safe and you can do them at home. You don't really need any equipment. I do use a chair for some of these exercises. So you can uh, either use a chair at home or even your couch or a coffee table. Um, the main thing to watch out for with these exercises is your form. So you wanna go really slowly with these exercises and pay attention to what your lower back and your pelvis is doing. None of these exercises should be causing you any more pain or any discomfort in your lower back or your pelvis so muscle activation is totally fine and you might feel a little bit of a burn and uh, activation of those muscles but you definitely don't want to be feeling any pain or any aching any sharp pain anything like that if you do feel any pain with these exercises just stop um, and move on to the next one it's also really important to make sure that you're talking to your health professionals, so your doctors, physiotherapists, if you are getting pain during pregnancy, especially if you're getting pain with exercises during pregnancy. So I hope you enjoy these exercises and let's get started. So for the first exercise, you're just going to go into an all fours position on the floor. And we're gonna go down into a child's pose stretch. So you're just lowering your hips down towards your feet. Make sure you move your knees wide enough apart that you've got room for your belly. And you're really just aiming to get your chest as far down to the ground as possible. Then we're gonna prop back up into hands and knees position. And we're gonna go into a cat cow stretch. So here you're just gently dropping your lower back down and then arching your lower back up, arching through your upper back as well. So just work through the movement that feels comfortable for you. Don't push into any pain or discomfort with this one and go nice and slow, work with your breath as you're doing this exercise. Just watch that your knees are below your hips and wrists are below your shoulders when you do this exercise. And then we're just gently gonna go back into that child's pose stretch and do a few rocking movements here. So just dropping your chest down towards the ground, sitting your hips back as far as you can. Again, make sure you're not holding your breath and there should be no pain as you're doing this one. So nice gentle stretches, just getting a little bit of movement through your spine. And this is a really good one to get that stretch in your upper back as well. The next exercise, we're still in all fours. So wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we're gonna go into a bird dog exercise. So here you're lifting one leg up and your opposite arm forward. The most important thing with this exercise is you wanna have that neutral spine position. So you don't want too much of a dip in your lower back. You wanna have your back pretty straight and you wanna keep it in that position as your arm and leg moves. Also watch that you don't tilt side to side or shift your body weight too much where you're rotating through your back. So nice and slow, again, working with your breath and just gently lifting one leg and one arm as you keep your back straight and still. The next exercise, we're gonna try a plank. So here you're gonna be on your elbows and on your knees. And again, just like with the last one, the most important thing with this exercise is finding that straight lower back position. A lot of uh, people in pregnancy will find that their back wants to arch because of that weight of their tummy out the front. So you want to counteract that, get your back really straight, tuck everything up and under. And again, no pain in your lower back as you do this one. An alternative to that plank is to do this on a chair. 
So this is actually a slightly harder version than the one on the floor because you've got your feet up, so you're holding more of your body weight up. But here you've got your elbows underneath your shoulders resting on a chair. Again, just take note of that lower back position. Notice how it is very straight. So if you feel like you don't have that strength through your core muscles to get your back in a straight position, or if you're finding that you're getting lower back pain doing this one, it's probably not the best exercise for you to be doing. But if you can get there and hold that position and it feels relatively comfortable, you can do this one and hold it for 20 to 30 seconds. For the next one, we're gonna use a resistance band. So the resistance band is optional, but it's a great way to add a little bit more of a challenge. So resistance band just above your knees, and we're gonna to go to squats to a chair. So your feet are gonna be on the outside edges of that chair. Your knees are pulling the resistance band apart, and then you're just sitting your bum back down to the chair. Once your thigh touches the chair, you're pressing straight back up. Alrighty, so the next exercise, the last exercise we're gonna do is a bridge where you've got your shoulders resting on a chair. You've got that resistance band around your knees if you want to. Your feet and knees are about hip distance apart here. And you're really just focusing on lifting your hips up as high as you can and squeezing your buttocks muscles as you lift up, making sure that you're not over arching your lower back as you do that. All right, so there you have it. There are some really good exercises to help with lower back pain during pregnancy. I hope you enjoyed the exercises. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you next time.